Well, good sleepy morning at the Winter Garden Village, Winter Garden Island, Target. James and I are gonna grab some things before we go to Magic Kingdom today. Today, wild life. Today's a very special day because today is 10 years to the date that Sarah and I checked into our Disney College program internship where we met our roommates and all the fun had begun. Very big day. It was 10 years ago today that I officially drank the Kool Aid. Yeah. Yeah. It was like 10 right, years really? ago. Like, we did, like yeah. we did that trip before, but Yay. we drank the Kool Aid 10 years also, ago. Also, when me and Chelsea first met, we were wearing the same outfit. I she know. Done it. I thought about it. I know. I, I don't have a pink just shirt. to be comfy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were wearing it's a pink hot. shirt. Yeah. And jean shorts. I'll put in the picture here. Yay. Yay. 10, 10 years. Crazy. Wild. Wild. Do you think we go get food at Gasparilla to eat something before the Hustle and Bustle of the Park? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Be easy? Yeah, and hang in the, yeah. the chill and the coolness. Hey, you were in here 10 years ago. We were just talking how on our college program, it did not go fall until like fall, actual fall. <laughs> back in my day, that's how I feel like we're gonna know. say all day long. This whole day, uh -huh. back in my day. <laughs> when I was a... <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were 19, we were literally 19. We were almost 30. Yeah. <laughs> Chelsea's thinking she's all in the know because she saw things on the internet before us. But as we're walking through a very hot Magic Kingdom, big top souvenirs open. You guys, if you've been watching us for all, you know how much we love big top. So we're gonna go there first, enjoy it, check it out, see if anything's changed, get some AC before we hop on Dumbo. Um, I don't know how much of a Magic Kingdom day we have because there's not many clouds and it is brutally hot. We might have to go the Contemporary or Wilderness Lodge or just buy some bathing suits and go swimming. None of this was here on our college program. Like, well, Dumbo, did Dumbo exist in Fantasyland? Yeah, yeah. Dumbo still in Fantasyland. In Fantasyland. Yeah. And like, no new Fantasyland. Nothing. Like, the carpet is different. It used to be, it used to be, like, it looked like the floor of a circus. This is just like airport carpet. <laughs> but there's seating. Wow. Alrighty. You ready? Is this hot? Not too bad. You're a pro. It's so hot, we're going straight to Casey Jr. Splash Pad. I've also never seen the Believe in Soul, and I love that. <laughs> this is a big, 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 big chapter. About to go play in a splash pad with James. Literally waited my entire life to play in the splash pad with my babies. And now we're about to. Oh my goodness, are you ready? Yeah, Jamesy!
I'll say this is the most strategic we've been with our son so far. <laughs> we've kind of timed it out where we kind of got him exhausted and a full belly. Now he has his bottle in the encapsulation of his fan-powered bugaboo, <laughs> laying back, and now Chelsea, Sarah, and I are just gonna child swap a bunch of rides he can't go on, like Space Mountain. There's only 20 minutes. It's, it's Sunday afternoon. Beautiful out, and space is 20 minutes. I mean, it is really beautiful. <laughs> True, it is hot. This is after soaking in Casey Jr.'s splash pad. But we're gonna hit up space at least. Maybe Phil Hart, maybe some uh, Frontierland, we'll see. Woo! All right, Chelsea. Space Mountain what a way to celebrate 10 years of CP. Space She's about to double really up on Space Mountain. Space Sarah's with James, getting to sleep. You know, there's many rides in Walt Disney World that I can't even go on once, let alone twice anymore. Like Expedition Everest, a couple, like, two, three years ago, we went on it four times in a row, and I've never been the same. Too old. This is the slowest. <laughs> Alright, so the girls are going on Space Mountain. I'm getting Joffrey's, and I was just gonna get a iced coffee, but they've got pumpkin spice latte, and I think I have to. Oh, I just spilled coffee on my new shirt. See, this is the kind of pumpkin spice I like. It's like a more of like a actual seasonally like pumpkin spice like it's more spice than pumpkin and sugar this tastes like coffee and like nutmeggy pumpkin spice dig it i don't know what to do i'm like a four-year-old little kid like i just lost my mask that's after not knowing where I put my Disney ones the other day and having to buy the Universal ones and I already looked at Grand Floridian for in the gift shop for a mask and the cast member told me that Disney is like sold out because they stopped ordering them when the numbers were decreasing and then when Delta came they started selling out and they don't have any restock so I don't know if they, they might have like a dispense like a disposable one at like first aid but I don't know we are headed Right in. What timing? Never mind. Tell of progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. He introduced the show at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964, and it was an immediate smash hit. Man has a dream, and that's the start. He follows his dream with mind and heart. Besides, it's not going to rain today. My lumbago isn't acting up. I'm not going to say I told you so. Oh, Papa! Yes, Patricia? Papa, all these people! I'm... I'm indecent! And when it becomes a reality, it's a dream come true for you and me. Shucks! Every time he has company, he blows a fuse. And guess who always has to change it? I heard that, young man. Uncle Orville's taken over the coolest spot in the house, of course, and he's rigged up a real clever contraption. He calls it air cooling. <laughs> Too bad he's not reading the help wanted ads. No privacy at all around this place. Are you awake, bitch? We're remodeling our basement of something called a, a rumpus room. <laughs> what happened, Sarah? Oh, you ain't no progress. That paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my room. A rumpus, a room. <laughs> now, how do you like that? I always say if you're going to be married, marry a girl with a sense of humor. Don't worry, Dad. Someday everything's going to be so automated, you won't ever have to cook another Christmas turkey again. <laughs> They went to first aid and they didn't have any, but at the very front of the park, I found the vending machine. I tell ya, I really like the new coloring in the castle. It's faded in the Florida sun perfectly. Along with the decorations, I love it. 
And I got the My Slack High Floats coming through. One of my favorite daytime parades. This is something rare these days. A, a little moment of Walt and Mickey with almost no guests around. So I'm gonna walk by, say hey, what's up? Love you guys. I can't wait to see the, the third iteration of the Walt statue at Epcot. That statue is called Partners, emphasizing like the dream of Walt's idealized hope that there Disney Parks would be a place for family to be partners, to be children and adults hanging out together making memories and then there's storytellers out in Disney's California Adventure where it's a younger Walt and a very young Mickey on a suitcase them arriving just in California which is when Walt you know really got the entertainment industry going there and then there's going to be a new, a new Walt statue at the front of Epcot World Showcase I think it's going to be in front of the very tip of World Showcase Lagoon where it'll be an older Walt me, I'm like sitting on a stoop out of the mount of a fountain, and that's going to be like the post parks Walt years of his like reaping the benefits of his success as a theme park industry creator and all the magic and love that these places have brought. Um, I just watched this little child pull the sword out. What I've never seen that before in my entire life. Did you see it? That's the king. I'm gonna go to the ramp, but I think I'm gonna try to pull it. I don't know. I'm not well. I've never seen that sword be pulled in real life. I've seen videos, of course. I've never seen the sword itself being pulled. Let's see. I'm gonna go for it. The sword and the stone. That little kid. It was like nothing. It was nothing. I don't think that was real. No one cared. It just looked like the, the kid didn't even care. The sword and the stone was just pulled out. The king of England is here. And no one cared. There were no customers around. There's no fanfare. I don't even think like the family of the child who pulled it out like knew what was going on. They just like, like walked away. This is insane. And Sarah and Chelsea weren't even here to see it. I can't wait. 25 days until a small population of the world comes on to our side of the battle and say it's Christmas time. When in reality, it's year round. All year round. We are in the Christmas <laughs> shop <laughs> waiting for beer. Look at all these cute Toy Story. Here, do that one again. Do both like, he's so funny. <laughs> and Buzz. He's fine. There's no, like, Woody or Jesse now. But I, I can't get I over this. <laughs> oh, this one went really good. It smells so extra good in here. Yeah, it does. And this is such a college program place for me and you because you didn't, you were, if, if you didn't know, Chelsea was custodial. Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Yeah, Liberty Square. Yeah. Adventureland, Frontierland. Okay, yeah, so we would see each other every once in a while in Frontierland. <laughs> um, but I like would stock and open these stores. Wow. It smells extra good. It does smell. Where? I can smell it very well through my mask. All right, where is Peter? These three are my absolute favorite. That's cool. I might need to get this. There's a bunch of little snow globe yeah, nightmare. Oh, everybody. And Jack. And the mayor. This one's cool because you know. <gasps> Hello, you found a mask. I did. Still snoozing? Fan what do we do as adults? <laughs> Go hang out at a resort. <laughs> Are you toast? I am fried. Okay. <laughs> Imagine me walking around, <laughs> right dancing to the hoedown. The hoedown! I forgot about the hoedown. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was with you guys. Yeah. 
My dad said he would. Go, he was gonna go and like enroll in community college so he could do it. So that would have been cool. Ayo. Go whips, go whips all day. Tip up my baby. Cheers. Cheers. My favorite. Wes is here. I love you, Wes. And it is National Rainbow Baby Day, so this song is perfect for Jamesy. We just cheers to water because we're old and we couldn't make it 12 hours in Magic Kingdom anymore. <laughs> so we're in uh, Enchanted Rose. We're gonna grab some snacks and we're gonna drink cocktails. Yeah, this is the the grown up, 10 year old version. James, you just busted that? What? He's so confused. Say, uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we got some truffle fries. Kelsey, what drink did you get? Floral bitter bean leaf. Oh. Gin and elderflower. And There's an elderflower in there. I got a B and B, which is iced tea and some fruity business and basil. And we also got the flatbread. And I had a seasonal old fashioned, which is really made. The only thing that's different really is that it's got a. Uh, Widow Jane or Jane Widow 10 year reserve with a house made simple syrup. Well, la ti da. <laughs> <laughs> when you get distracted mid throwing, you have to look at all the wallpaper. Yay! Are we getting old? Maybe. Is that part of life? Yes. Do I need a haircut? Desperately. Do I have an appointment for tomorrow? I do. Tomorrow. Um, James and I are about to go swimming. Katie and Brian have a sweet pool. And Sarah actually needs to edit yesterday's vlog because we had an earlier start because 10 years since our college program because we are getting older. So I'm gonna take James, we're gonna go swimming, hang out there. Sarah will be with the dogs, editing. Sound good? Sounds great. He's very upset right now, but he doesn't know that he's about to go in a pool and he loves the pool. He's gonna be so happy. Six and a half hours later. It is super late, but we're going to bed finally. But I wanted to show you my cool new, uh, my cool new head I got. It'll fit better once I get my hair cut tomorrow. Um, I went swimming with James. There's a sweet pool here. That was a lot of fun. He loved it. It was a very warm pool. It was the warmest pool I've ever been in. Um, but we're gonna collect ourselves and uh, go to bed. It's good to be home. Tomorrow we're going to one of our favorite resorts. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.